before I get started, I'll put on some, some of this gloves in a bottle, which is wonderful stuff. Keeps my hands safe from any chemical that might be going on. Don't paint the barn. <laughs> this is an expression that is, I don't know where it came from. It grew out of my teaching years and years ago when I was teaching a class. A, a, the barn has become a, a symbol for the thing, especially if it's a landscape. Literally, sometimes is a barn. What this has come to mean in my classes is don't ever turn your discerning, creating, thinking, critical brain off and then just say, okay, I just have to paint the barn. Uh, I just have to paint the thing. We, we tend to do this because painting is hard work and you have to be thinking all the time and after thinking all the time you get tired of thinking and you just want to break and you think, oh, thank goodness, uh, let me take this red bus as an example. Uh, when it comes time to paint this bus, I can't afford the luxury of resting my brain and saying, oh good, I just mix up some paint and I just paint it. You can't do that. With every stroke, your painting has changed. So you put a stroke down and now you need to respond to that stroke. And then you need to respond to those two strokes. And then you need to respond to those three strokes. You get the idea? That's the antithesis of painting the barn. Painting the barn means turn your brain off and you just, it's kind of like color by number, paint in this blank space. We can never afford to do that. And we all have the tendency to do that because painting's hard work.